Hey guys, Zalonius here. Welcome to another video on the channel. In today's video, we are going to be looking at the new Centurions Team 2 promo. We're going to be looking at the new hero that EA added today as well. As always, I'm going to be ranking every single one of them, giving my opinion on them, letting you know what I guys think. I'll be ranking them purely based on how good I think the card looks. Um, there's an interesting twist with one of the cards that I'll talk about. Um, but I appreciate you guys tuning in. Let me know what your thoughts are on these cards. So, we're going to start off with the um, actual Centurions. So, Centurions. So, we'll go to the bottom. Nandez, he is new today. Three star, two star centre mid. Um, play styles. Pretty good. Rapid. Traveller. Uh, relentless. Incisive pass. They're good. He's quick. Can't shoot. Uh, passing's pretty poor. Fairly average defending. I mean, I'm putting him C tier. No weak foot. Um, a lot of weaknesses. He's got some good stuff about him, but this, the weaknesses are really bad. Um, so not a particularly great card. Are you sick to death of getting out teamed on FC24? Want that god squad you've always been dreaming of? Check out IGGM.com today. The best and most reliable place to get coins for your ultimate team. Use the link in the description and code Zell at checkout for a 5% discount. Check out IGGM.com today. Let's have a look. Bornau, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. 6 free, centre back, 82 pace, that's pretty good. Um, the play styles, I mean, are a bit meh. No aerial, no bruiser, no jockey, anticipator, intercept. Long ball's good. Um, very quick, though. Defending solid. Jumping, to be fair, without aerial, still be fine. 6 3. I'm going to put a B tier. None of the OP play styles are not the best defending stats, but some pretty good stats in general. Uh, Ryerson. I think he was part of the mini release. Olga Carmona came out today, four star, three star. Um, decent play styles. Finesse shop's nice, but a bit irrelevant on her to be honest. She can't play anywhere other than left bad, I think. She can't play left wing, I guess. But um technical, rapid, relentless, pretty good. Three star weak foot. Uh physical 91 stamina. Pretty damn good. Um strength's not bad, but the aggression's poor. Not the best defending. Great on the ball. Decent pairs. I think she's okay. But I'm going to put a C tier. She doesn't have that many great play styles um, at this point. She's decent, but lacks quite a bit. And she's very, very small in game. Uh, that's it for that page. Uh, Chiesa came out today. So Chiesa, gold rapid. Very, very good. I don't know if he has any different play styles to his main card. I don't think so. Um not a huge upgrade on his other card. You could put a hawk on him; it makes it very solid in general. But gold, uh, gold, um, rapid, very nice. It's just a very good card in general. To care, it's going to be low A tier in my opinion, but he's nice. Jared Bowen, the objective, uh, technicals good, rapids good, long balls good. So he's got three good play styles, but no play style plus. Not a lot of play styles. Um, bad physical, which I think is a bit stupid for Bowen. Um. Good on the ball, okay passing, good shot, okay pace. Three star weak foot though, I'm putting him like top end of C tier. That is a fairly poor objective card. Honestly, I think that should have been an 87 and made him four star weak foot. And I said that was a lot more reasonable for what an objective card could be. I don't think that's very generous at all from EA. Um, Leah Williamson. The problem you're going to have with Williamson, I think that's a nice dynamic image by the way. I like uh, a mix of different images. Problem with Williamson is she's five foot seven. Five foot seven, I can't really ever justify a set about bit. It's, it's not to the point it's absolutely unusable, but it's pretty small. Um she's got long ball plus. Her play style is pretty good. It's not OP, but it's pretty solid. She's got crazy passive anyway. Um the physical on this card's okay. Her jumping. If she had aerial, I think she's got some new play style. I don't think she had bruise before. If she had aerial. It'd make her a bit more usable. But she has Anticipate Jockey Bruiser. I just think she's a bit small. That's the main issue. Um, I wouldn't trust that. But she's a bit of a different centre. But I'm going to have a B tier. She has got some pretty crack play styles and good stuff about her. Uh, the next page. We've got Musiala. Musiala, I did say for a while, if he gets some... Um, upgrades he could be pretty crazy he's going to be crazy expensive though uh, gold technical 
incisive pass has been added. I'm pretty certain he didn't have any passing play styles before. Incisive pass with that vision's good. Um, he's going to be one of the best dribblers in the game. His finishing's a lot better now. If you give him a hundred, he's going to actually be fairly clinical. Um, this Musiala, pretty obvious S tier for me. Um, decent upgrade. I like that they've given him incisive pass. Bon Matty and De Bruyne are so higher rated cards in this century than even the first team. Bon Matty, have they given her any play styles? No, I think these are the exact same play styles she had anyway. That's good. Bon Matty was already cracked. Um, just a, a decent upgrade on her, to be honest. I don't think there's a massive upgrade across the board, but doesn't really massively need it. I'd like to see a few more shot power, but Bon Matty is already one of the best midfielders of the game. S tier for me. De Bruyne, this is quite interesting what they've done with De Bruyne. So De Bruyne, he had incisive pass gold. Incisive pass gold was pretty good. But they've given him gold long ball now. I don't know if there's any other play styles on I don't think so. I would like to see him give him technical. But they've given him six pace and gold long ball. Like I said, incisive pass good, but gold long ball is insane. With his passing and five star weak foot, this De Bruyne is going to be ridiculous. He's going to be just able to play crazy passes everywhere. Um, I mean, this card's going to be a top-tier card. In my midfield tier list, I'd probably have this De Bruyne at S-tier. Um, and I think I had his other card, gold, low B or high C, I can't remember. But six pace, decent stat boost across the board, and one of the most OP play styles on someone with five-star weak foot and crazy passing. Uh, this De Bruyne is insane. Um, him or Bon Matty, pretty tight between them, but that De Bruyne looks special, to be honest. We'll look at the new hero quickly before we... Um, Look at the icons. This card looks very good, to be fair. Uh, what league is he? It's Argentinian league, so not very good in terms of that. But 4-4, four, four, very solid stats. Bit weak, but crazy on the ball. Uh, passing's good, very good shot, decent pace. His play styles are great, though. First touch is pretty good. He's got finesse, incisive pass, technical flair. Pretty decent card, to be honest. I'd be having him like 80 we get to our icons let's look at our centurion icons okay trezeguet acrobatic pretty useless pretty awful play styles 4-4 four, four. can't really do much on the ball ridiculously bad passing bit slow honestly just shocking that's just an absolute filler icon just awful uh, Vidic SBC but compared to his other card near identical to be honest I think he'll be very very good I think he'll be bottom end S tier but I don't know how much you have to pay for that Makaleli Makaleli uh, have they given him anything else don't think they've given him much else there I think still pretty bad on the ball can't shoot not very good passing he'd be very good at what he's good at but on this game I prefer well rounded players Maybe some people like that, but I don't think that's that special. Ashley Cole. Kept his play styles. Um, just quite a decent upgrade. I think that's four pace on him, and he's a lot better on the ball now. That Ashley Cole's the best left back in the game now, in my opinion. Very, very good card. Be interesting to see what price he settles at. There's a Netty. I think that's the same play styles. Just a solid upgrade. Um, again still quite limited but compared to like Makalele he's better on the ball and a fair bit better passing so I'm going to have him made to quicker as well uh, Zico and Eusebio obviously pretty crazy cards Zico would have liked to see him give him a different uh, play style but a 5 star 5 cards with those stats you can't really knock that it's just pretty nutty across the board and then you say, we're we'll just put him in S table. Let's have a look. Have they given him any other play styles? Is what I want to know. No, don't know why they're doing that. Um, I would still absolutely love that card with a hawk. He has max shot power, long shots, night seven finishing, night seven pace, crazy dribbling. They could have given him like a finesse or a traveller or something just to add to it. That would have been good. But a ridiculous card, nonetheless. You are very lucky if you pack him. Let me know what you guys think of this tier list. I think this is fairly decent promo team. Um, I like that they're adding milestones and objectives as well. Uh, appreciate you guys tuning in. As always, thank you for your support. Keep it spicy. I'll see you guys in the next one.
Peace.